Just a couple shards left. The quarry's gotta have one, right? Welcome to Grady Incinerator, home of the hottest wings in East of Ceylandia. In all seriousness, the incinerator was a dump, and it had a problem with peckers. Blast the things would swoop in and spread trash all around me, until we started using fire. We couldn't just torch them all at once. We had to use restraint. <laughs> Who knows why we fought so hard to defend our own trash? Imagine everything you'd need to build a city like Ceylandia. It takes hard work and planning, and it also takes burst on the quarry. The Ura tunnels beneath the quarry must have softened the blow from the calamity. We bought the whole place from the Ura on the cheap. Same goes for its natives. Rattletails. Why would the Ura put up with those pests? The quarry came with a lifetime supply of windbags. Windbags smaller than the naked eye can see on nesting in those rocks. Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things.
there, you know that Ura hated anything above ground. Might be the quarry just got too much sunshine for their liking. Shard's got a fraction of core's power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland. Well, now the quarry's all dried up. These rocks are much too young to be of use. Remember how I said rattletails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to call him, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomp many of our opponents. We just couldn't get rid of him. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. says. <laughs> 